Hey folks, this is Riker. I'm one of the lucky people to receive the BlizzCon 2016 goodie bag in advance. I received it as an unexpected package yesterday morning. I unboxed it live on stream not knowing what to expect. And there's tons of really cool stuff for all of Blizzard's franchises. And if you're attending BlizzCon, you're gonna get this. And if you have a virtual ticket, you can then choose to purchase the BlizzCon goodie bag through the gear store while supplies last. So here's my live on-stream unboxing of the BlizzCon 2016 goodie bag. Alright folks, so here's, here's the story. This morning, I was not expecting any packages, but I received one. FedEx came to the door, and uh, we got this right here. It's a box. It says, Blizz BlizzCon 2016. My first thought was that this was something BlizzCon 2015 related, like... Because I attended BlizzCon 2015. But uh, this is a BlizzCon 2016 labeled box. You've got some cryptic runes around here, which I just realized now. That's like Diablo runes, guys. This seems very Diablo specific, actually. I could be anything, who knows. Maybe it's a combination of their games. There's also an X. I guess that's BlizzCon number 10. Welcome new raider. We have Warcraft, Starcraft, Diablo, the original three franchises. Then we got Hearthstone, Overwatch, Heroes of the Storm, and a sticker here. Magic sticker. So we're gonna unbox this. I don't know exactly what's inside. I've been told that it might be a preview to what's to come. At BlizzCon 2016. On the side here it says... Uh, welcome new Raider. On the side here it says, Embrace your inner geek. That is what it says there. Uh, what else? 20th of July, cleared. Okay. That's just my shipping information. We're not going to show that. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's get to the unboxing. Alright. Here's our knife. You call that a knife? Alright. So we're cutting open Whoa. this little thing here. That's done. We're going to... Pull this open, somehow. We're gonna move our mic back into position, actually. There we are, okay. So, pulling out this tab, opening this. Transmogrify, skill added to your goodie box. Wait a minute, what? Okay, so inside here it says, again, embrace your inner geek. That says that up there. Can't quite see it, but uh, we might take photos of these from up close. Uh, more of the logos. And then here, it says transmogrify exclamation mark skill added to your goodie box. I think that means transmogrify skill added to your goodie box. And then it says reverse box to unlock. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to, I think I have to put this on the floor or I can put it on my lap. All right. I'm rotating slightly now. Yeah. I'm running out of room for everything. Oh, that is that is nice. This does look like a goodie bag. Oh my god, this looks like a goodie bag. <laughs> oh wow, okay. This is looking sick, guys. So, uh, for starters, again, just a very nice splash box there. BlizzCon 2016, BlizzCon number 10. And we have a paper here that's explaining things, I'm pretty sure. But this looks like some nice goodies. Sick goodies, okay. Greetings. I'm wondering if I should read this, read this to myself first, just in case it's sensitive information, but nah, let's just do it. Greetings. BlizzCon is fast approaching, and we wanted to give you a first look at this year's goodie bag in a box. Just like last year, this goodie bag in a box will be, will be available to BlizzCon attendees, as well as virtual ticket purchasers. Once virtual ticket sales begin, your virtual ticket or your BlizzCon ticket will allow you to pre-purchase one goodie bag through our gear store while supplies last. And then, from eBay on resellers, uh, your goodie bag will be shipped out shortly before BlizzCon. Feel free to share the contents of the enclosed goodie bag in a box. I like how they keep putting that in brackets. <laughs> in a box. <laughs> With your fans and community as you see fit. And if you choose to do so, please remember to disclose that the goodie bag was gifted to you on behalf of Blizzard Entertainment. Should you have any questions about the goodie bag or virtual ticket, please don't hesitate to reach out. We appreciate all you do for our community and hope to see you at BlizzCon. Alright, so we're going to take a look now at what we got in the goodie bag here. Box. 
plastic covering it. Okay, so here's a World of Warcraft thing. This looks like a coaster of sorts. Horde and Alliance. Look at that. Both ways. This is some a heavy-duty, sturdy... Very sturdy, actually. Plastic um, coaster. High quality as well. It's engraved. It's not just, like, plastic printed on it. There's full texture to this. Every, every detail is carved into the plastic. So, the red is like a layer beneath a black layer of plastic that was put over top of it. There's even texture within the red, like cracks and creases. It says... Strength and honor. May your blades never dull. Roknagar, Loktar. And the Alliance side, uh, same deal. This is not the crack texture, but there's other textures, sort of like stained glass. Glory to the Alliance. King's honor. Friend. King's honor, friend. I don't play World of Warcraft. I played Warcraft 2. Um, I've, 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 I've played a couple months of World of Warcraft, I should say. Way back in the day. If I bring this any closer, it's just gonna be all shit to you guys. Oh, look at that! <laughs> so the red one looks cool. The red one works for you guys, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna take pictures of this. Uh, on the yellow side, unfortunately, the Alliance side is a bit uh, mucked up due to my green screen. But it almost looks cooler this way. So, very sturdy coaster. We have a uh, Heroes of the Storm... What is this? A guitar pick? What is this? I, I, <laughs> yeah, ETC, Elite Torrent Chieftain. It's a guitar pick, it looks like. But not a real one, because it's framed in plastic. So, it says ETC, Elite Torrent Chieftain. That's their, uh, their band. Heroes of the Storm logo on the other side. This is a guitar pick on a chain. I guess it's just meant to be a little uh, keychain accoutrement. But you could potentially use it as a, a guitar pick. Yeah, you can pop off the plastic and it, the plastic comes off and you can use it as a guitar pick. I'm going to put that back on though before I break things. I've I done it, guys. I've, it's, I already broke it. Goodie bag ruined. Stream over. Everyone go home. No. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, the plastic goes right back on. So I guess you can keep it on a keychain or I, I don't really know. Your choice. You real guitar pick or keychain guitar pick. Okay, this, I don't know what it is, but it looks sick. Diablo, guys! This is something Diablo. So, this is like a, a faux leather sack. Like a coin pouch. Is there die? Are, are there dice in here? It's dice! It's, it's dice! Guys! It's D20, it's, it's D&D &D dice. What does this mean? What is this a hint at? Are we getting another Diablo D&D &D game? My very first experience with Diablo, sorry, with Dungeons and Dragons was a Diablo 2 rendition of Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. That's how I got my first set of dice right here, which I keep by my side at all times. So now we've got these sick Diablo themed dice. They are black with red digits, and the digits are sort of carved in uh, that Diablo ish font. They're rather lightweight, though, I've noticed. I felt a lot of dice in my day. These are pretty light. I don't know what that means. But, uh, I wonder if this is, like, wh why would they make Diablo dice? Why would they make dice for Diablo? I mean, why would, why would they get into Dungeons and Dragons Diablo? Like, there's just no... It's a smaller market. Why would they be dipping into... I would love it. I, I love D&D. &D, I love Diablo. It's like Blizzard knows that I roll D... Uh, that I roll D&D &D dice to do coin giveaways. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna roll this D20. And we're gonna give away that many coins to everybody right now. That's 15... 15 coins going out to everybody right now. Ah, that's quite a treasure there. So there's this bizarre thing here that I don't quite know what it is. It's a StarCraft toy. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure these two go together. This looks like an overlord. A Zerg overlord. And this is uh, something you shove up its butt. There we go. Overlord in the butt. It's uh, one of the sticky plunger things. It probably doesn't stick to skin, right? Oh, it does. There you go. <laughs> it kind of does. So, you can stick this to, like, your car window, I guess, and it, it bobs around. It's an overlord. It's uh, made of, um, uh, caoutchouc. Um, what's the English word for that? Uh, rubber? Not rubber. I don't know. Foam. It's like foam. It's a little foam thing. You can hit yourself on the head. It doesn't hurt much. Uh, <laughs> so, that's a, it's a cute little thing, I guess. We've got some 
This is something Hearthstone. I thought it was cards, but it turns out to be a map. Uh, okay. So, opening this... I think I broke it already. Whoops. Uh, okay, it's just a plastic container. So, Hearthstone... And... What is this? It is a very nice, uh... Thing. It's a Hearthstone thing. Maybe this is to clean glasses. It feels like the material you use to clean your glasses. Uh, here is a Warcraft, Hearthstone. Very nice. We'll put that a bit close. No, we're not going to put that closer. <laughs> so the material feels very much like what you use to clean your glasses. I'm going to guess that's what it is. I don't know. I could use one of these. It's nice. <laughs> Alright, we're going to put that aside. Now, what monstrosity is this? This is an inflatable thing. Warning, keep this bag <laughs> Keep this bag away from babies and chil- and- and what? Children? It's faded. I don't know. Do not use something, cribs, beds, carriages, or- I don't- uh, it's faded. Piñatas? Pirates? The thin film may cling to the nose and mouth and prevent breathing. Okay. So, there's a weapon in here. Which is going to be awesome. We're going to find a way to open this without popping the bag inside. Maybe we'll save this for a bit later. This will take us a bit to go through. Uh, what is this? Inflatable Reinhardt Rock Hammer. <gasps> That's what this is, guys. It's an inflatable Reinhardt Rock Hammer. Yes! Microfiber tablet cleaning cloth. Oh, okay. This, this tells us what... This tells us the content. So... This is for cleaning your computer monitor as well. It's a microfilament cloth, glasses, monitor, tablet. It says microfiber, tablet, cleaning cloth. Right, because they want you to play Hearthstone on a tablet. That makes sense. BlizzCon 10 year anniversary, Stein. Oh shit, there's other stuff in here. What's a Stein? Like a drinking mug. <laughs> the World of Warcraft Faction Coaster. This is not a toy, it says. Not for children under 14 years old. If you're above- if you're a child above 14, you're allowed to drink, though. Here's the Storm ETC Guitar Pick Keychain, StarCraft Baby Overlord Antenna Topper, Diablo 3 Gaming Dice Set, and everything says Choking Hazard. <laughs> For the inflatable Reinhardt Rock Hammer, they're saying this is not a life-saving flotation device. Okay, so... This- this right here, folks, is gonna be the mother load. This is the mother load right here. It's a box in a box. Boxception, folks. 10 epic years. 2005, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 2016. We're gonna open this up for this epic mug or whatever. A Stein? Stein? Stein. It's got, it comes in styrofoam packing as well. Oof. I don't wanna break anything. I'm not- I actually don't know what it is. I'm not- I'm guess- I'm guessing it's a drinking cup. This is heavy. So the box is empty. I think I got styrofoam in my mouth, guys. It's a packing peanut, not a real peanut. Okay. Holy shit, guys. Holy shit. This is one hell of a fucking stein. Welcome, new raider. Wow. Wow. Look at- this has weight to it, folks. Wow, look at this. Okay, I think we can put this down. I don't think there's anything else. This has weight to it. This is a real drinking mug, guys. Beautiful, gorgeous set piece. Look at this. Look. Look at that, folks. Oh my gosh. We gotta drink Kraken straight out of this. <laughs> we gotta drink Grog out of this. Look at that. So you got... This... this like, this is stainless steel. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a metallurgist, but this is like real metal. This isn't plastic. This seems like metal to me. Possibly stainless steel. I don't know. That would make sense. Uh, this is ceramic or plastic. Hand wash only, it says. I have a number at the bottom. There's a number at the bottom here. I'm not going to show you guys just in case... There's some significance to it, and I need to register it as a product. But there's some number under here, which I find interesting. So, just gorgeous. Look, look, look. This is an, this is metal. This is like a metal uh, decal. 
on this side it's just uh, the print so you got your gold trim you got your logos but on this side this is actual embossed metal gorgeous this is all detailed you got your logos up here look at this folks this is a beauty this is this is so heavy my arm has gone tired in all this time explaining it this is my boomstick folks test test talking into a cup so that is gorgeous Okay, so we're going to put this down, and uh, what you're going to see now, folks, is me try to inflate this, pass out from uh, <laughs> becoming lightheaded, and uh, this is the inflatable Reinhardt hammer. So we're going to take our handy scissors here to open this without breaking the hammer. Hopefully. Very interesting that for Diablo we got dice. I think that might be that might be something, folks. Because look, everything else... <laughs> Invisible scissors, guys. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> okay. So. This is going to take a while, guys. This is, yeah, this is definitely a right. well, I mean, it seems like it could be a Reinhardt hammer. Oh, boy. How long is it going to take me to blow air into this? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> Better start huffing. <clears throat> this is not happening, guys. This is not, I do not have the lung capacity for this. I took years of swimming as a child. They did not prepare me for this. Is it even doing anything? It's inflating. You can see my face turning red. It's getting there. <laughs> Only 70% more to go. Is there two sections? Oh, it's two sections to it. Okay. Okay, we're a bit lightheaded. We're a bit lightheaded right now. <laughs> uh, the world's spinning a bit. But I think we've inflated this section enough. We're going to cap that off. So, it's like a balloon this side. And, uh, we might have overinflated it. Maybe that's why it's so round. Now for this section. <clears throat> uh, okay. We're gonna try some more. Uh, there's three sections. How much do they want me to blow? Oh, come on. I can't get a grip with my mouth. Okay, I think that's all inflated. Popping that in there. Oh yeah, alright. Okay, so this part's inflated. Now to do the shaft. We've gotta blow the shaft, guys. We gotta blow into the shaft right now. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> it's not optimal for blowing. Alright, alright. The shaft is fully erect now, folks. There we go. Alright. Inflatable Reinhardt hammer. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's getting a bit limp, guys. It's getting a bit limp. We have to blow it a bit more, but uh, you get the idea. Inflatable Reinhardt hammer. You can hit your friends, you can hit your children. It's uh, completely humane. <laughs> this, this is the one hammer that you're allowed to beat your children with, folks. Reinhardt Hammer. Uh, so I think that about covers the unboxing. The fact that we have Diablo dice pr probably doesn't hit anything D&D uh, &D related. 
because, I mean, the World of Warcraft coaster isn't the thing that's, you know, relevant. But that's our unboxing, folks. So, that was very cool. Some very cool, exciting stuff in there. This, though, this. This. I cannot wait to have a nice cold beer out of this. Oh, man. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Uh, the, D the Diablo dice are awesome. The, uh, the guitar pick for, uh, for, uh, so if, if I were to rank these, this is number one, for sure. But this is general Blizzard stuff, so makes sense for it to be the tops. I think the next best thing is actually the Diablo dice, folks. I think the Diablo dice are the next coolest thing. You forgot to show off the empty box, greatest of merchandise. It's true, I mean, it's a sexy box, folks. It's a sexy box. Was there a D4? Of course, I mean, there has to be. I'm sure there were every... It's. I'm sure it's a full dice set. It wouldn't make sense for there to not be a D4. How many dice in total? We actually have a D percentile as well. I don't have one of those. So, you got your classic D20. Next should come the D12. Here's your D12. Welcome, new raider. You then have your D10 and your D percentile. So you can either roll 1 to 10 or you can roll 1 to 100 using these two dice. Your D8. Your D6. And your D4, a.k.a. the Caltrop. All in a very, very nice dice bag. You could ah, oh, there you go. At that angle, you can see it flash on the uh, the Diablo logo. So that was awesome, guys. This is an awesome goodie bag this year for BlizzCon. If only for this, but I mean, even for the dice. But like, if this were the only thing, it would be totally worth. Welcome, new raider. We're gonna get back to Diablo now in uh, just a moment. <laughs> the giant inflatable Reinhardt dildo. Yes. That wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the goodie bag. Is there anything in there that interests you? Check out these other videos and subscribe to join Rikers Raiders to be notified when my next Blizzard video goes live. One day, I hope you'll understand. Now, wait a minute. Did you guys see that? Let's pause frame and enhance. What's that? Oh, some kind of... Hex code? Well, hmm, is that random?